Hello, my name is Garrett Seeley and today I'm going to show you how to use a polarity checker, or often called a woodhead, and a tension checker to check out an outlet. Now, uh, I teach people how to repair medical equipment. We're called biomedical technicians, and one of the things that biomeds are often paid to do is to check the outlet that their piece of equipment is connected to. Uh, often we help out the in-house or, or contracted electrical team at a hospital. Just uh, if nothing else we are unplugging a device and we do have easy access to the plug. So anyway how you check this. So you would plug a uh, electrical a polarity checker or like I say a wood head into the outlet. If it is okay the top two lights will light. If the bottom red light lights in any way there is a fault. <coughs> if you'd like to know which fault specifically there is there is a decoder on the wood head itself, but the uh, truth of the matter is most of the time if the two lights aren't lit there's something wrong with the wiring so something has either become disconnected or damaged or was not hooked up correctly in the first place and that's one of the things that we want to check at uh, a hospital. <clears throat> Another thing we want to check at a hospital is the plug tension. Now this device here slides into the outlet as you pull on it uh, let me reset it as you pull on it these little slides will slide along this ounce dial here and it's got numbers there if you can see them all the way up from 4 to uh, 24 ounces now the standard is it must not be below 4 but frankly a lot of people if it's under 10 they'll turn it into an electric an electrician and tell them that they need to replace the outlet. So let's go ahead and let's check this outlet. I'll go ahead and I'll plug this in and we'll pull on it. And these are really good so they're not going to uh, have any problem. Let's go ahead and check the ground. That goes in here. We're going to check the ground. And if you'll notice the ground, it barely got up here to uh, 10 didn't even very, uh, go very much past 4. So that would be a good example of something that we would want to go ahead and replace. <clears throat> Another good example of something we look for, and this is very subtle, but this is one of the things we want to turn in, is one of these plugs is actually damaged. I don't know if you can see which one. It's actually uh, this one right here, and I'll show you why it's damaged. If you look at the ground pins in here, each one of these ground pins have a little ceramic bar in there, but not this one. This one's been snapped off. What happened is somebody, when they uh, ripped on something, they, they twisted it, and, and it actually damaged the inside of this port. So these are some of the things that we would look at uh, outside of the obvious burning, charring, <clears throat> and this is what we would turn into an electrician to have them repair. 